Crime and public safety data is now more important than ever, and it's traditionally only been available to police, firefighters, town and city officials, never before to the general public. However, the relatively new Citizen app is trying to change that, offering a platform for its users to self-report crimes and incidents going on, and it appears they also aggregate official police reports and other official reports based on where you live. So there's one place where you can view all the incidents around you and it's free and available to the public. So while this app is great and can literally be a lifesaver, you may be interested in getting your hands on the raw data behind the incidents. Like, I don't know, say you're interested in real estate and you want to be sure the location you're buying a home in is totally safe at night. Unfortunately, Citizen does not offer a nice API we could programmatically use to get the raw data. However, they offer a nice looking web application that we could use normally in accordance with their terms of service. And then after we're done using the web application, have our browser export the web data that Citizen sent it to us into a file and get nice structured crime data that way. Sounds complicated, right? Well, that's why I created a free tool I'm gonna to show you in this video that'll let you do this just by clicking a few buttons and then literally dragging and dropping a file and you'll have access to the raw data that Citizen sent to your web browser. So let's mosey on over to citizen.com and we'll get started. The only special thing we need to do here now is open up our browser developer tools so we tell the browser to record our network traffic. So we just right click anywhere on this page and hit inspect. And now I see that the developer tools are open on the bottom of my browser. It's now recording and saving the data that Citizen sends to it so we can look at it later. Now let's check the Explore tab and browse around their website normally. So here it looks like it's using my IP address to know that I'm in New York. It's about 8 p.m. on a Saturday, so I'm sure there are unfortunately a lot of nasty incidents going on. So we can just pan around Manhattan and I can see each of these dots as an incident. I can click on one to see more and I can go back to the map and keep panning around. Now that I'm done browsing around my area of interest, I can export my data from Google Chrome into a HAR file. This is an HTTP archive file that contains a log of all the HTTP requests that were sent and received during my session just now, including the raw data that Citizen sent to my web browser to populate that map. So I just go to my network tab and click export HAR and then download the HAR file. So here's where the free tool comes in. This is the Steve C HAR file web scraper. It can work with any HAR file you collect from any website like Citizen in this case. You just drag and drop your HAR file into this tool and it will analyze and allow you to search within the network responses to find the data you're interested in. It will also automatically group the JSON responses together if it detects they contain similar data. So I'll find that when I browse around the map, I made a couple different requests, but they all sent back the same data. This tool is smart enough to group them together for me so I can get all of the incidents quickly. And since HAR files contain sensitive information, this free tool only runs on my browser. Nothing from the HAR file is sent on the internet unless I want to access a premium feature, which I'll show you later on in the video. So now I want to find out where those list of incidents that showed up on the map were coming from. So I'm gonna use a search feature, and I'm just gonna search for something I remember visually seeing on the Citizen site, and then see where I can find its match here inside the raw data. So here I found the HTTP request that sent me back the incident I was looking for. And if I just click this icon here, the Steve C tool will send me back the raw data from the JSON file containing the JSON payload with the incident data that I searched for. So here I can see all the incidents they sent to my web browser. And now I have this file on my computer in JSON format. Now, just because you have the data in a fancy file on your computer doesn't mean you can go and do whatever you want with it. You still need to be mindful of all applicable laws like copyright. You can't just republish this list anywhere that you want. Like I said earlier in the real estate example, this may be useful for you to just use privately for yourself if you wanna keep track of crime going on in a certain area. So now let's go back to that HTTP endpoint that we used to get the data and take a closer look out of curiosity. So I can see here, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. I just give it four coordinates or two latitude longitude pairs that builds me a bounding box. 
and then it looks like it sends me the most trending or popular incidents within that box. So this endpoint looks pretty simple. It looks like anyone could hypothetically reaccess this endpoint and just provide in the coordinate pairs that they want to get the incidents from, and it will return back that list. However, I can't advise anyone go and do this because it may be considered automated access depending on what you do. And at this point, you're also accessing the endpoint outside of an official citizen client, like the website we just used. Even though the official citizen client would have accessed the endpoint anyway, the problem is that by directly accessing this endpoint, it may be a violation of the terms of service and it may or may not be considered trespass. So I don't recommend going down that route. If you want to access this endpoint, I highly recommend you only do it through an official citizen client like their mobile app or website. If you do need to record this on a daily basis, unfortunately, the only thing I can legally recommend you do is just periodically check this using a web browser every day. And then each day you can export a new HAR file and then get the data that way. So you can have a different HAR file for each day you want to monitor if you're looking for trends and you can build a graph or something that way on your own. It's not that bad if you just have to do it once a day for say two weeks if you're looking for some basic trends. And what I can do to help you out is to document this endpoint on the CFC data platform by clicking new endpoint here. This will show up if you're logged into the CFC data platform. You can just use a free account. Anyone's free to contribute endpoints that they uncover. So if other users want to upload a HAR file, this tool can now match the requests that we're documenting to your HAR file and automatically figure out where the incidents are. So you can see on this page now, link in the description with my contributions of that endpoint we found. So that way I can just drag and drop a HAR file here and it will automatically process it and show me only citizen app related endpoints. So I can quickly access the data I'm interested in that I got from citizen prior to using this by using their app normally that's now on the HAR file I sent to Steve C. So these small individual JSON files we got back from Citizen are useful, but they're in kind of a complicated format and we probably need to write a program or do something to make more use of them. It would be nice if I could just get all of the requests together combined into a single CSV file. So as you saw me pan around that map, I made a series of requests and responses and I really just want the response JSON from those set of requests combined into a single CSV file with all the incidents so I can keep track of them if I want. Then with a CSV file, I can look at this data in Excel or upload to Tableau or into a database or do a whole number of things that CSV files are compatible with. Well, for premium Steve C users, they'll see this parse button next to the raw data we got from the HAR file and it will allow them to combine all of those smaller individual requests into a single collection which Steve C will then transform and auto magically flatten into a CSV file. You can quickly download and instantly open up in Excel and take a look at all this data without hiring a programmer or having to really lift too many fingers. So now I can see all the crime data in Excel row by row. I can see what happened, a little bit of metadata, and most importantly, the time and place. Because if you're at the wrong place, in the wrong time, you're going to have a bad time. So that's it. Check out the link in the description to the citizen page that I made. It contains the endpoint that we went through and you can just drag and drop your own HAR file into this and it'll process it and show you the citizen data back. And if you need it in CSV, you can think about upgrading to a Steve C premium account. Please like if you learned something, subscribe if you want to see me scrape more websites and let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or other websites you want to see me get data from. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay data driven.